Are you sick of feeling you are far away from your true purpose? If you nodded yes, then you need to hear about Ghost Mode, a battle-tested strategy for unsurpassable growth. In this video, I'll give you actionable tips to make this period of isolation your stepping stone to greatness. By the end of this video, you will be able to effectively go through the Ghost Mode to conquer your goals and thrive in your journey to become the best version of yourself. You are in the Hero's Forge, a digital forge that turns man into heroes through self-improvement. This is your blueprint for becoming the hero you were born to be. Tip 1. Prioritize your goals. Listen up. This isn't some kindergarten exercise where you jot down a wish list for Santa. This is a battle plan, a blueprint for your life's mission. You're going to dissect your goals like a surgeon, peeling back the layers to get to the core of what drives you. Ask yourself, why do I want this? If the answer doesn't ignite a fire in your belly, toss that goal out. It's dead weight. Once you've got your refined list, it's time to go to war. You're going to allocate your resources, time, energy, money, like a general deploying troops. Your top goal is your front line, and it gets 70% of your resources. This is the hill you're willing to die on, so you better make it count. Your secondary goal gets 20%, and your tertiary goal gets the remaining 10%. These are your flanks, important but not critical. Ghost mode usually takes from six months to one year. Think about it. Only one year can change the whole course of your life. Now let's get one thing straight. Oh, this isn't a suggestion. It's a command. You're not dabbling here. You're committing. You're staking your claim on your future, and you're going to defend it like a lion protecting its territory. This is an all-or-nothing game. There's no room for half-measures or maybe laters. You're either in or you're out. If you're in, then it's time to mobilize. You're going to create an action plan for each goal, breaking it down into actionable steps. Each step is a battle, and each battle brings you closer to winning the war. And let me tell you, when you start winning battles, you're not just achieving goals, you're building an empire. You're crafting a legacy. So what's it going to be? Are you the architect of your destiny or just a pawn in someone else's game? Make your choice and let's get to work. Tip two, the power of introspection. This isn't some fluffy feel-good meditation session. This is a brutal, no-holds-barred interrogation with the person staring back at you in the mirror. You're going to dig deep, peeling away the layers of self-deception and excuses that have held you back. You're going to confront your fears, your weaknesses and your failures. Why? Because self-awareness is the cornerstone of transformation. You can't fix what you refuse to acknowledge. This is your personal reckoning, your moment of truth. You're going to ask yourself hard questions. Am I on the right path? Am I giving my all? Am I the problem? And you better be prepared for the answers because they might just shatter your ego. But that's a good thing. A shattered ego can be rebuilt, stronger and wiser than before. Now listen up. Introspection isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. It's your internal audit system, constantly evaluating your thoughts, actions and results. You're going to make this a regular practice, a sacred ritual, in your ghost mode journey. This is your self-imposed reality check, your personal quality control. You're not just going through the motions, you're scrutinizing every aspect of your life, identifying bottlenecks and optimizing for peak performance. This is how you become a self-made titan, a force to be reckoned with. You're not just living, you're evolving, constantly adapting and improving. You're becoming the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. So, are you ready to face the man in the mirror? Are you ready to unleash the untapped potential that lies within? If the answer is yes, then let's cut the crap and get down to business. It's time to evolve. Tip three, embrace solitude. Now don't get it twisted. I'm not talking about becoming a hermit or isolating yourself from the world. I'm talking about intentional solitude, the kind that fuels your soul and sharpens your mind. This is your fortress of solitude, your sacred space where you disconnect from the noise and distractions of the outside world to connect with your inner self. 
This is where you strategize, where you plan your next moves, where you visualize your success. Solitude is your war room, and in this room, you're the general, the commander-in-chief of your life. You're going to use this time to dissect your goals, to study your enemies, which are often your own bad habits, and to plot your path to victory. This is where you become a tactical genius, a strategic mastermind. This is where you transform from a pawn into a king. Now let's get one thing straight. Solitude is not an escape, it's an investment. An investment in your mental clarity, your emotional stability, and your spiritual growth. You're not running away from the world, you're diving deep into the essence of who you are and who you aspire to be. This is your training ground, your dojo, where you practice the art of self-mastery. You're going to use this time to cultivate discipline, to build resilience, and to develop an indomitable will. You're going to emerge from this solitude not as a broken, lonely individual, but as a fortified, empowered warrior. You're going to become a man of substance, a man of depth, a man who commands respect not just from others, but from himself. So are you ready to embrace the transformative power of solitude? Are you ready to step into the arena of self-discovery and self-mastery? If so, then let's quit the chit-chat and get to work. Your destiny awaits and it has no room for half measures. Tip 4. Turn adversity into advantage. Listen, life isn't a cakewalk, it's a battleground. And on this battleground you're going to face obstacles, setbacks and failures. But here's the kicker. These adversities are not your enemies, they're your allies. They're your personal trainers, pushing you beyond your limits, testing your mettle and revealing your true character. You see, adversity is the forge in which your spirit is tempered, your resilience is built and your greatness is crafted. So, the next time you face a challenge, don't whine or retreat, embrace it. Use it as a stepping stone a learning opportunity, a chance to grow stronger and wiser. This is where you practice the ancient art of alchemy, transforming the lead of your struggles into the gold of your triumphs. Think about Japan, for instance. They were devastated after World War II, both physically and economically. However, instead of succumbing to despair, the country focused on rebuilding and modernizing. Today, they turned themselves into an economic powerhouse. Now let's cut through the bullshit. Turning adversity into advantage isn't some feel-good mantra, it's a skill. It's about taking control of your narrative, rewriting your story, and becoming the hero of your own epic saga. It's about adopting a solution-oriented approach where you focus not on the problem, but on the possibilities it presents. It's about cultivating a growth mindset, where you view challenges as opportunities for self-improvement, not as threats to your ego. This is where you practice the Stoic principle of Amor Fati, the love of fate. You don't just accept your circumstances, you embrace them, you cherish them, you leverage them to your advantage. This is how you build grit, how you develop tenacity, how you become unstoppable. So let me ask you this, are you ready to turn your adversities into your advantages? Are you ready to transform your trials into your triumphs? Are you ready to convert your setbacks into your comebacks? If the answer is yes, then it's time to stop playing the victim and start being the victor. It's time to stop blaming your circumstances and start shaping your destiny. It's time to stop surviving and start thriving. Your life is a masterpiece in the making and adversity is just another brushstroke, adding depth texture and color to your canvas. So grab that brush, take control of your narrative and paint your own portrait of success. The world is waiting to see your masterpiece. Don't keep it waiting any longer. Tip five, accountability and tracking. You can have all the ambition in the world, but if you're not holding yourself accountable, you're just a dreamer. Accountability is the bridge between intention and execution the catalyst that transforms your potential into performance. It's the self-imposed discipline that keeps you on track, the internal compass that guides you toward your goals. You see, accountability isn't about answering to someone else. It's about answering to yourself. 
it's about looking at yourself in the mirror every day and asking, did I give it my all? Did I make progress? Did I live up to my standards? And if the answer is no, it's about having the guts to admit it, the humility to learn from it, and the resolve to do better next time. This is where you employ tracking mechanisms, be it a journal, an app, or a mentor, to measure your progress, evaluate your performance, and recalibrate your strategy. It's the scoreboard that keeps you honest, the feedback loop that keeps you sharp, the reality check that keeps you grounded. However, accountability and tracking aren't about micromanaging your life or obsessing over metrics. They're about empowering yourself to take charge of your destiny. I recommend making it simple here. Use Google Calendar to set time spans for your goals and create tasks there too. It is simple yet functional. Accountability and tracking are about establishing a system of checks and balances that keeps you aligned with your goals, your values and your vision. They're about creating a culture of excellence where mediocrity is not an option and greatness is the only standard. This is how you build integrity, how you earn respect, how you achieve mastery. It's about making a pact with yourself, a sacred vow to be the best version of yourself no matter what. So, let me ask you, are you willing to hold yourself accountable? Are you willing to track your progress, face your shortcomings and celebrate your victories? If the answer is yes, then congratulations, you've just unlocked the secret to sustainable success. You've just turned the key to your own transformation. You've just set the stage for a life of purpose, passion and power. So what are you waiting for? The clock is ticking and your destiny is calling. Answer it. So there you have it, warriors. A comprehensive guide to mastering ghost mode. This isn't for the faint of heart, it's for those who are serious about transforming their lives. If you're ready to take the plunge, hit that like button and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. Also, I would appreciate a lot reading how your ghost mode is going in the comments. Subscribe for more no-bullshit content that'll turn you from a spectator into a hero. Now that you are entering the ghost mode, I think you will see a lot of value in our video about the seven habits of high value man. And if you want to go deeper into ghost mode strategies, I highly recommend you take a look at the book, Deep Work, Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World. I will be putting an affiliate link for this book at the first pinned commentary. Until next time, be the hero you were born to be.